Okay, so this is going to be audiogram number one. Hi, Mr. James. So looking at the results of your evaluation, it does look like you have some hearing loss in your right ear. And so the hearing loss is happening in the inner part of your ear, meaning that the hearing loss is more than likely from the vehicle accident you had rather than from the ear infection after the vehicle accident. Um, and the reason I say that is because if it had been from the ear infection afterwards, then we would see some loss going on in your middle ear. And right now, things are looking good in your middle ear. So um, this inner ear hearing loss, what's what we call a sensory neural hearing loss. And it can be from many things, but for yours, it will be from the damage to that inner ear from your accident, from that trauma that you had to your head. So, um, the good thing is, is that your results did show that you're able to hear words at um, fairly good at a normal range of hearing. Um, however, because it is a loss in the inner part of your ear, and that does mean it is a permanent loss. So, um, I do wanna talk to you about some listening device options that we have. Um, since your left ear has normal hearing, then um, we'll be looking at maybe a hearing aid option for your right ear only to help you cope with that hearing loss and to help make it easier for you to understand speech. Um, I'm so glad that you came in to get this checked out. It is so great to do preventative ear care. Um, so I'm just so thankful that you came in today and that we got to help figure this out. Now I'm moving on to audiogram number two. Hi, Mr. Edwards. So looking at your evaluation results, we already know that you have a sensory neural hearing loss in both ears, meaning that it occurred in the inner part of your ear and that damage is from a lifelong farming experience, um, that exposure to all the lab machines and working in the farming industry has caused that. So I do want to show you a diagram that I have. So this is called our speech banana. We call that, we call it that because, you know, it looks like a banana. And on here, right here, I've got your graph of hearing loss. And so up here is in our normal range, and then it goes down here to where it's in a pretty severe to profound, you know, not a great range for hearing. So the speech banana, I pulled this out to show you, that means that you're gonna have some difficulty hearing consonants. You're gonna have difficulty hearing louder sounds. So like airplanes passing by, lawn mowers, things of that nature are gonna be harder for you to hear. And then also higher pitched sounds. Um, so if your wife has a higher pitched voice, you know, that might be something that brings on some difficulty for you. Um, so I wanna to talk today about maybe some environmental changes that we can look at to maybe help improve the environment of your speaking with your wife. Um, so that's the first thing I wanna talk about. So background noise. If you both listen to the TV or the radio or have any background noise happening in the living room where you're at, it's gonna make you harder to understand um, the conversation you and your wife are having. That background noise can mess with the hearing aids, can mess with your hearing, it just can really interfere with that. Um, another thing is lighting in the room. So if you have a dimly lit room and you're not able to kind of look at your wife's face and all those other things, that would also make it harder for you to understand um, what she's saying. Another thing would be the way you're positioning. So um, if your chairs sit like this, where both you and your wife are facing forward instead of facing toward each other, where you're not able to pick up on those, you know, looking at her and listening to her, um, that could definitely be harder for you to hear. Um, so, or if your wife, you know, she has a tendency to maybe mumble or turn down when she speaks or anything like that could inhibit your ability to have um, a fluent conversation with her. Um, and then another thing I want to talk to you about is that I did see some negative pressure in your middle ear. Um, this could mean a couple of things. Um, possibly you might have a double ear infection coming on. Um, so I do today want to refer you to an ear, nose, and throat doctor. So that way we can get that checked out and um, get you the help you need if that is the case. Um, so yeah, I just want to thank you for coming in today. And I hope we get everything settled out for you. Thank you.